Right, before you can use Quantum GIS for remote sensing, one of the things you need to do is install a couple of libraries, mainly three of them, and we can do that um, in Python. I'll show you how. Okay, I'll get the Python. So when you install Quantum GIS, there's normally a folder on your desktop, um, QGIS 3.10 or 3.18, whatever it is, and in there, you'll have the OS Geo 4W shell. The other option is if you go to the start menu and you scroll down to QGIS, there's a folder in there. If you right click on that shell and you say open the file location, it will also take you there. When you get there, right click on that and say run as administrator. So it will open up this uh, window. We then want to find out the address, the location of our Python module. So we'll say py3 for python3 underscore environment, just env. And it will give you the location where it's installed within the QGIS. So all we want is that path. So I'm just going to select that up to Python 37. Then it's going to be control C to copy it and I'll paste it there backslash python minus m pip install and the three we're going to install are numpy, matplotlib and scikit-learn. So in my case I already have them so that's I just do it anyway. Numpy, and if you like, you can actually copy all of these. I'll just say Control C again, so you don't need to redo that. And you click on Numpy, and then it will install. In my case, I already have it. So once it's installed, you do the next one, which is matplotlib. And it will install it. In my case, again, I already have it. And the third one you install is scikit. Learn. And then it will install them. And once you're done with this, you are ready to um, work with Quantum GIS with the remote sensing module. You can then open Quantum GIS and begin to work through the videos um with the next couple of videos that are shared on this page thank you